In this video, we're going to have a look at Copilot's new memory and instruction function that's just rolled out. So I'm signed in as my work account, and I've got an AI Insights paper that I've got from the UK government website, and I'm going to ask Copilot to summarize it, just to show you what happens by default. I'm just going to use a standard prompt, please summarize this document. So when I ask Copilot to do that, it does a pretty good job. It's pulling this together. It's given me an output. It's quite nice. It is quite punchy by default. Uh, it's given me a good answer. It's going to ask me for some other things that I may want to do. Now, that's great. But if I want this presented in a slightly different way, or if I always want the output presented in a particular way, then I need to tell Copilot every single time. Well, now what I can do is use the memory function and instructions within Copilot to teach it a little bit more about the way that I like to work with it. So to do this, what I need to do is head over to the three dots uh, at the top right of the screen. I need to go to settings. I mean, here you'll see this personalization section. So I have this ability to provide memory, to give it memory. Uh, to do that. So you'll see if I click on this, then what I can do is while I'm chatting with Copilot, I can ask it to remember personal things. So I can say to it, remember that I like this, remember that I like that, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and this just helps Copilot to improve. Um, I can turn the memory off. Uh, one note, if you turn it off, it will erase its memory. When you turn it on, you'll need to teach it all over again, but it's a useful thing to do. Also, probably quite good practice just to ensure you're cleaning things up and you haven't told it to remember things that you then think later on to go back to. There's also a work profile section, which it pulls from your entry ID. So this knows my job title, it knows my office location, it knows my manager, which is quite useful as well. But what we're gonna look at today is the instruction side of things. So if I click on instructions, then what you'll see here is the ability for me to give it a prompt, to give it information uh, at any level about how I want it to respond. So you can see here it says, give me details about your interests, preferences, goals, or any other context that can help it. So what I've done is I've written some instructions, which I wrote in Notepad. I'm gonna paste them in here and we're just gonna walk through them. So I've told it uh, who I am, who I work for, what we do, some of the areas that I'm involved in, some of my expertise. I've told it that I am passionate about modern technology. I've told it that I'm a Microsoft MVP. I've told it that I work very closely with Cisco and Microsoft. And I've told it I have a blog site and a YouTube channel, et cetera, et cetera. Then what I've done, so that's kind of context about me. I've then given it some information about how I want it to respond. So I've asked it to ask me for additional information if I miss something out. That's great. Otherwise, it may assume. Uh, if it's not sure what it means, then tell me right? and ask it to clarify. If you don't know something, tell me, don't make things up. So you can kind of see I've been quite clear in some of the instructions I've given it. I and mean, I've asked it to start every response with a three to four line TLDR, so short summary, and then a precise and concise answer to my questions. Where appropriate, I've asked it to give me uh, examples of different business cases to help and to only use UK-based examples where possible with stats to back it up. So I've given it those instructions. I've, You can see here I can turn the instructions on or off. I'm going to leave these on, and I'm going to click on Save. So you can now see that that's enabled. I'm going to come back out of here, and I'm now going to ask Copilot to do the same thing. So I'm going to start... A new conversation. So I'm going to ask it exactly the same question again. I'm going to upload the same file. I'm going to ask it to do that again. And let's see how the response differs. So again, you can see here now that the response looks very different to the one before. It's given me a TLDR. It's actually even called it that. It's then given me a summary in a table of what these things are because I asked it to. It's given me some UK business case examples as well because I asked it to do that. So it's a very different approach, but anything I now ask Copilot, it will use this approach, these guidelines as its instructions. Now, of course, I can edit those at any time. So if I'm not happy with the way that these responses are working, I can of course still ask it in an individual prompt how I would like it to work, 
or I can simply go back over to the settings here and I can amend the custom instructions or I can turn them off. So if I turn them off, So if I go back, ask it to summarize the document again, then it's now gone back to its kind of default mode. Okay, so it's responded in the same way that it responded before because I've turned off the instructions. So it's very similar to what it produced before. If I go back into here now and go to settings and instructions, you can see this is off. I can now turn this back on again. Um, there's a slight UI bug that I noticed there. When you turn it on, turn it off, it doesn't update. I'm sure that will get fixed. But really, really simple way to use custom instructions. It just saves that time from writing the same things over and over again. I know many of you will have a default prompt that you will copy and paste every time you write something. Uh, really great feature. Let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, enjoy Copilot memory and Copilot instructions. Thanks for watching.